Hi guys, I'm David with MediaUnlocked.net and today I'm going to be showing you how to batch export a bunch of videos out of Premiere. Um, so the biggest issue for me is I live an hour away from my studio. So when I leave for the day, um, I want to be able to export more than one video if I'm working on multiple videos. Like today, I'm actually working on five different or six different videos today that have to be exported. So if I export one video out of Premiere, that's going to, one, bog my computer up a little bit and not allow me to edit on other videos that I want to edit on and, uh, and pretty much kind of slow my day down. Or two, I could just export a single video at the very end of the day, go into the Premiere, export that video, I'll come in the next day, it's done. But that means that I only got one of my five videos exported. So how do I export five different videos um, so that when one finishes, it goes to the next one, the next one, the next one, and all the settings and everything are set the way I want to for each video. So that's what I'm going to be showing you guys how to do today um, so that when I leave the studio today, I'm going to export five different videos and it will run my computer and export it while I'm not even here and I don't really have to worry about it and it's not slowing me down throughout the day. So let's do this. It's actually pretty simple, guys. I think you guys would be pretty, pretty surprised how easy it is. Uh, now, of course, to do this, you have to have Adobe Premiere and I think it's called a Media Encoder. Um, so uh, both these timelines, actually, let me bring this over. So both of these timelines are what I'm working on right now. Um, I'm working on a new tech channel. We're going to be launching quite a few videos there. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up all the tech channel videos that I just finished editing. And we'll exit these, exit this. We'll bring this over here. Okay, so I've got one, two, three, four sequences right here. Four videos that all need to be exported, but I want to do them um, in a way that one, I could export all four videos and still be editing another Premiere project or I could export all four videos and be done with Premiere for the day, either way. So, uh, we're gonna do a control A, select all the videos for the first one, go to here, go to uh, export, export media. Now we want to hit um, match sequence settings. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna match those settings. We wanna make sure we wanna use, use the max render quality. Now we wanna see where do we wanna put the file. Um, so we need to go all the way back out to tech and uh, I'm going to put all the files. Let's see here. This is the intro video. So we'll go in here and it's already got a name. So we're going to save it there. Um, again, use max render quality and then I'm just going to use the match sequence settings. Uh, so instead of just going down here and hitting export and tying up Premiere, not being able to use it at all, I'm going to hit Q. So what that's going to do is going to, is going to open up Media Encoder. Now, in theory, you should not have to mess with Media Encoder at all, um, except for one button um, and maybe a few other things. This is set to H.264. It's already got all my settings already saved um, for that. And there it is right here. And I can even go in and change it if I wanted to. And so now what we're going to do uh, is pull that out of the way. We're going to go to our next timeline, Control-A, highlight everything file, export media. Again, we want to use max use, max render quality. We want to match the sequence. We want to make sure that it's being put in the right file. This is my cloning tech video. So we want to go back out to tech and we want to go to cloning and we want to put it in the cloning folder. Again, it's all good to go. And we're going to hit Q again. It's going to bring it up in here. So this is our second video. Third video, control A file, export, media, um, and we're going to do this for all five videos just so you guys get a good grasp of it. Um, make sure everything is good to go, and we're going to hit Q again. Boom, it's already in here again. Actually, I'll pull this up so you guys can actually see it a little bit longer. Uh, and control A, file, export, media, match sequence settings, use render max quality. Um, uh, that last video, I did not put it in the right folder. It's not a big deal. I know where it's going to go. Um, you, if you if you have a, a specific destination, go on it and put it in the destination that you know you want it to go in. Uh, let's see what video this is. This is uh, this is the upgrading CD video that I did. How to put an optical drive in a MacBook Pro. Uh, so I was going to go in here and we'll save it there. Again, we're not going to hit export. We're going to hit Q. Um, so it's going to queue it into here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to open up another project, another video that I need exported, and uh, we will go to Open Recent. And I just did a time-lapse blog, 
and I need to export part two. I've already exported part one, so we're going to open it up, and we're going to exit out of this. And this is part two right here. Let me make sure it has all the bits and pieces to it, so it's ready to be exported, which it should be. Okay. Yes. And let me make sure I added uh, some kind of dissolvent, and yeah, okay, and I fade on the audio towards the end. Good to go. So control A, and we're going to hit uh, export media. <coughs> Sequence settings, and this one's going to be a little bit different, I believe, once we send it over to the queue. So we'll pop the queue over here, and uh, we're going to hit Q, and so it's going to pop over here. And um, a note, it's going to be the same setup. Um, so as you can see, um, all these are ready to go. Um, and then all I have to do is just hit this. And once I click that, it's going to go through and it's going to render all these. So I could just, I'm not going to right now because I don't want to tie my computer up with five different videos to export. Those will all get exported tonight when I leave, but I got about two or three other videos I need to edit before I could leave the studio today. So I have those three more videos there. And, uh, and then I'll hit this green button right here and it will send it to its destination as well. All the uh, settings that I had for the premiere um, will be set on those. Um, so as far as my exporting settings um, that I had set up in Premiere will be used here at Meta at the Adobe Media Encoder. Now you can go in and you can specifically do even more detailed stuff with this. I'm not going to, it's already set up the way I want it to. So I would just again hit that green button and then over the evening, it would probably take a couple hours, it will go through here and render all these videos. When I come in in the morning, they'll be good to go and I can start uploading them to YouTube. Um, so that's just something that I, I, an issue I ran into today and I was like, man, how do I batch edit a bunch of videos? And I was like, I bet you Media Encoder will allow me to do that. So I tested the theory out, it worked. And I thought I'd make a real quick video just kind of explaining that to you guys because um, if you haven't used Media Encoder in the past, you probably wouldn't even know it's there or even think that you could use it for that specific aspect. Again, I can go back and start editing even though it's encoding all these videos, it still allows me to use Adobe Premiere, which is really nice if you're wanting to export something but still edit something, you know? Um, anyway, so that's my, that's my little tip. Hopefully it helps you guys out. A quick little video, uh, impromptu, I should say. I literally just was like, hey, I'm just going to upload this for, for, the, for my Media Unlock people out there, uh, especially my video editors that uh, may not even have thought about that this is, an, that this is an option that you can use. Uh, have a great day. Catch us out on MediaLock.net. We're gonna have all, we always got lots of good write-ups going on up there. You know, every Wednesday we put something new up, as well. Facebook at David D Images and MediaLock at Twitter. So love to have you as a follower. Love to get a like. Uh, love for you to check out some of our blogs. They're pretty cool. You guys have a great one. We'll catch you next time.